Howdy folks and welcome back to my World of Tanks replays with the Mighty Jingles. Today it is Light Tank Roundup time. Tonight it's a selection of the Light Tank replays that didn't quite make it onto the Light Tank shortlist but were nevertheless really good games. And we're kicking off with uh, D9XS in his AMX ELC French Tier 5 Light Tank. The tiny little terror with a forward firing 90mm derp gun of doom. Very very popular tank this, a lot more than I was expecting it to be. Um, there seem to be a lot of you driving ELCs and having a really good time doing it. This and the Chaffee were probably the two most popular of the light tanks that got submitted. So it's an encounter battle on Muravanka. D9XS having a look around, seeing which way the teams are going. And he's not in any rush to see how quickly he can get himself killed like the other light tank drivers are. This is actually very, very generous matchmaking for the ELC. It's only a tier 6 game. And, yeah, there's a lot of enemy tanks. Let's see which light tank wins the race to get killed first. Is it going to be the M2? It's probably going to be the M2. Although, yeah, it's the M2. Although one of the tank destroyers is giving him a damn good run for his money. Look at these clowns on the map. Look at that tank destroyer. What on earth is it? There we go. T49. Oh, it's, it, it's as if... And I, What did I say? <laughs> In my tank destroyer rerun from last night. Talking about Hellcats and T49s. And... And then for Sherman. It, 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 what is going on? What are these derps doing? They're just charging out of the woods and straight into the town, right into the enemy deployment zone, and just dying. Guys, stop sucking. So we're losing 3 0. But, you know, on the bright side, we've just lost three morons. So the team is now actually marginally more intelligent on average. So it's not actually a bad thing. And we're starting to pull it back. Killed a oh crap! Look at how close that KV-1 got before we spotted them. That's why these woods are a death trap on this map. They really are. Uh, yep, let's get the hell out of here. It's a Panzer IV shooting at us, knocked out our radio, but we weren't planning on scouting anyway. Because the drawback of not having a radio is now you can't see all of those enemy tanks in the southern end of the wood on your map because you don't have the radio range anymore. But that was a good hit. And somebody is shooting back, so... Very, very hard tank to hit, this little bugger, though. It's so small. Oh, another ELC. Oh, this should be fun. Let's see who comes off best here. Good, good solid hit. And Artie, of course, is just sitting there. Yeah, you're welcome, aren't you? No, don't mention it. Now, we will, you know, get pounded by enemy tanks, saving your ass. No need to thank us. You better not... I'll tell you what, this artillery had better not die now. After that. Look at this, 7 health. <laughs> and we're losing 5-7. Yep, oh, he's... 22 health left. What a waste of time. Amex 40 there. Uh, wow. He bounced. Uh, unfortunately, uh, so did we. And he got something like a 12 second reload on the 90mm gun on this thing. Yeah, that's more like it. How'd you like them apples, Frenchie? In the air, yeah, we've lost our artillery. So we just basically lost... 98% of the health for nothing. Ooh, KV-1S. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Missed. Well, that's what this 90mm gun's like. Oh, and there goes enemy artillery, desperately trying to kill the light tank on 2% health. 
You couldn't make this shit up. So what else do we have? Well, the French bathtub of doom is busy engaging and killing our KV-1S in the woods over there. Those woods are such a death trap, they really are. The visibility in there is so limited. I've seen people drive through those woods and bump into mouses that they just didn't see until it was too late. That's just the kind of... Vi oh, what happens over in those woods? This is the reason why there's such a death trap. Is one tank will go in, he will bump into one enemy tank, and then all of that enemy tank's friends will vaporise the tank that bumped into him. And the tank that went into the woods, all of his teammates get a couple of seconds to shoot at the one tank that he detected before he disappears off the map. And then it all goes quiet. And then one other tank goes into the woods, and the process just repeats itself. Because nobody ever goes into those woods in a group. You know, where they can actually do some good. Everybody goes in one at a time, and dies one at a time. So, we're in an ELC AMX with 7 health. After nearly getting ourselves killed in a complete waste of time trying to save artillery. Hmm, it's not looking too good, is it? Come on, D9XS. Show us what you can do. Ah, there they are. We found their artillery. Panzer IV making a little sneaky scout and run around the back there. Unfortunately, I do not like those odds. There's an M18 Hellcat defending artillery. And there's artillery. But we can help out. I mean, with the team's got the cap covered, anybody who comes from the south and tries to take the cap is going to get slaughtered. So, D9 here is driving very, very erratically. Obviously, he's mindful of the fact that even minor splash damage from art, he can kill him at this point. And that was a good shot. And the thing about Hellcats is they do have a very, very dangerous gun. But they have one of the worst turret traverses of any tank in the game. And watch this. Okay, so he bounced, he missed. 12 second reload. Panzer IV getting stuck in. About bloody time. And you can totally beat that Hellcats turret traverse. But keep moving, artillery's still in play. Don't stop, drive erratically. Artillery's there, he's right behind you. And I must admit, I would have expected that Panzer IV to have... Oh, yeah, Panzer IV on 34 health. This probably explains why he's not too keen on... You, you, you can see it coming, can't you? Arnie's going to nail him. I mean, he's done a good job down here. But there's Artie. Come on, don't die. Don't die. Oh, he's hit him. He's hit him. Come on. Come on. He's got it. There we go. Oh, we put that rock there. What a silly... Oh. Hetzer finished off the Panzer. Well, now we know where the Hetzer is anyway. But they still have a Tier 5 Heavy and Tier 6 Medium kicking around somewhere. Not too concerned about the Hetzer. And the team are capping. And, you know, that's the sensible thing to do in the circumstances. You don't want the entire team sitting in the cap circle, but you need somebody capping to draw them out, because they're going to lose unless they go to the cap circle. So if you don't know where the enemy team is, and they're probably in those woods, and D9 here is trying to... he's trying to draw them out. Oh, there goes the medium. It's a Sherman Jumbo. And there's the T1 Heavy. So they weren't in the woods after all. And we know the Hetzer is down in the bottom corner of the map. And that was actually a good plan by the team. Um, I, mean, I don't know if they planned that, but somebody obviously had the common sense to not all go into the cap circle. 
So there's enough people in the cap circle to advance the cap and tease the enemy team out. And of course these guys are spotting and the KV-1S up there. Is in a position to provide overwatch and we get the two kills, which is nice. And we know where the Hetzer is. And we're up to five kills. And bear in mind we got we got four of those five kills on two percent health. So yeah, let's let's just let the guys who actually have some health go ahead and tease the Hetzer out. Because it doesn't matter what gun that Hetz is using. If he's using the 75mm or the 105mm, he can kill us. It's the 75mm. And aim, and yeah. Unfortunately, the aiming time of that 90mm gun is really bad. But, okay, we were robbed of Top Gun. But um, that was a well-played match. Um, he kept us guessing right away to the end. Good little bit of teamwork there. Teasing them out, making them come for the cap. And uh, very, very well played by D9XS in his ELC AMX, French Tier 5 light tank. So, Type 62, Chinese Tier 6 premium light tank. Here's Applesauce Bandit in his Type 62. Now, when this thing was introduced, you couldn't move without bumping into Type 62s. They were everywhere. But after about a week or so, suddenly you just never see them anymore. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, firstly, it's, well, as far as scout tanks go, this is really a passive scout. It's not fast enough to be an active scout. Um, it's not even as fast as a chaffee. And the chaffee's nowhere near as fast as the T-50-2 or the VK-2801. So if you're going to scout with this tank, you pretty much have to be a passive scout. And a lot of people just don't like passive scouting. You know, they play well the tanks to kill tanks, not to watch them. And that's fine. Um, now the other reason I think that you don't see so many Type 62s is because it's just not very versatile. And what I mean by that is it is a very, very good passive scout, but only if you fit the equipment uh, necessary for that role. Without the binoculars or the camo net, uh, it's, it's just an average scouting tank. Uh, it really has to have you know, camo net, binos, all that sort of thing, vents as well, um, in order to fulfil the role as a, as a passive scout. Uh, and, but when you do do that, you know, it, it does really, really well. Or you can set it up as a light attack tank, like the AMX-1375 or the AMX-1390. And for that, you need a gun lane drive and you need a gun rounder, which kind of locks it into one role or the other. It just doesn't have the versatility, because how you're going to play the thing depends on the equipment you have fitted to it. And it really does need that equipment, especially if you're going to set this thing up as a light attack tank, because the, the, the gun isn't bad, the 85mm gun on this thing, it isn't terrible, but the reload's slow, um, and the aiming time's not great. So if you're going to play this thing like an AMX 1375, for example, you need to set up your equipment for it, which kind of locks you out of doing any serious scouting, and vice versa. If you set it up as a proper scout, then you pretty much lock yourself out of the light attack tank thing. Um, and you don't get that with the tier 5 light tanks. You can play them any way you want. So I think that's probably why you don't really see too many of these Type 62s anymore. Which is a shame, because I, I kind of like it. I think it's a, it's a good little tank. Okay, so this Tiger's got an M6 in front of him, and an M6 going around to his right. So let's see what we can do about the M6 on his right. Yeah, seems we can do quite a bit. No kills ourselves yet, but a lot of assists. That frees up the target to turn his front towards this M6. And we can help him out with that one as well. As can artillery. Nice little bit of teamwork there. We're defending, by the way, just in case it wasn't obvious here at Erlenburg. And that's, well, that seems to be this side of the map taken care of. Oh, wait, there was a KV-2. Yeah, there he is. And he's probably backing away like you wouldn't believe. Although he could still hurt and kill that tiger quite easily. And the tiger's thanking Applesauce Bandit here for his help. Uh, yeah, no problem. 
No problem, that's my job. Alright, his gun's pointing the other. Oh, no, his gun is pointing up here now. Yeah, and it looks like he's got the derp gun. So, yeah, let's just... Oh, and he has company. There's a Panzer four over there. Now, what sort of attention is that Panzer IV paying? And bear in mind that this is patch 7.5, so the Panzer IV still has a decent gun. We've hit them hard. They're hit. Hit them hard. And that big old derp gun keeps turning around. And make your mind up. Oh, are you going to shoot at me or not? Yes, you are. Ah, no, you're not. <laughs> So there's a first confirmed kill. Like uh, what right is through. this Panzer for? Hello, look at your map. Enemy right, enemy. yeah. So you've got one tank shooting at you and you keep going around the corner so you can have two tanks shooting at you. That was smart. One day you'll be driving a Tiger too. God help us all. Well, I think we can safely say we've successfully crushed the assault on the base from this side of the map. Hmm, let's see, tier 4 and tier 5 artillery. Yeah, we can have a go. Although this is definitely one of the easier to hit light tanks, as far as artillery are concerned. Because of the lowish top speed. So, you know, yeah, don't drive in a straight line, keep moving. Hmm, doesn't seem to be any artillery over here. If there were, even if we hadn't spotted them, they'd be shooting at us by now. Which must mean they've deployed on the other side of the river. So let's go and have a look on the other side of the river. I mean, we're winning 11-5. It's, it's just a question of seeing who can get the last few kills. Come on, little Artie. Come to Uncle Applesauce. I'll make it quick. Where are these sneaky bastards? There's KV3. Ah, there we go. There's the priest. Fortunately, that means... Even though we're about to kill the priest, GW Panther knows where we are. I just saw some tracer coming in there, but I can't think. Oh, lots of tracer going in. <laughs> okay, let's go. KV3s. Yeah, just absurdly well armoured for their tier. Even from behind. Oh, he's got at us. Yeah, we don't like that. And he's missed. Uh -huh. We just can't penetrate him. Oh, yes, we can. Ah, there we go. And apparently somebody already killed their artillery. Didn't even see that happening. So let's have a look at the results. Patch 7.5, we still get a results screen. Hey. Yep, not bad at all. Not quite good enough for Confederate, not quite good enough for Scout, but he wasn't playing it as a Scout, he was playing it as a light attack tank, like the 1375 or the 1390. Uh, and no awards, but not a bad game. In, uh, I think, an underappreciated little tank. Although I can understand why people just don't buy it, and well, those that have bought it just don't play it anymore. It can be a difficult tank to do well in, because you're either... Whether you're playing it as a light attack tank or as a, as a passive scout, you're totally at the mercy of your team. You know, you can spot the targets, but if your team don't get themselves in a position to shoot at them, then you know, there's nothing you can do. And uh, as a light attack tank, you, you, you're definitely in a support role, um, backing up the tanks that, uh, that your heavies and bigger mediums are engaging, and just zipping around the sides, the sides and rears and, and blasting away at them. And... If nobody's doing that for you, you've got nobody to outflank. So, yeah. Um, it's just one of those tanks that, you know, if your team is no good, you're very limited in what you can do in this thing. But not a bad game. Not a bad game. Um, nothing spectacular, but a good solid game in the Type 62. Well done, Apple Source Bandit.
So, here's Maverick 92 and his T50-2 in a Tier 7 game on Ruinberg. Surprisingly, I haven't actually seen that many T50-2 submissions. This must have been chaffies in the LCs. Okay, yeah, we found half the enemy team, or more. Um, that's the scout medal in the bag, I think. Let's get the hell out of here. A lot of people would have stayed, kept driving up and down the road, ducking and dodging, just trying to keep them illuminated, but no chance. There's no support up there. You'd have eight enemy tanks stopping to shoot at you. You would die. It would be amusing for a few seconds, until one of them hits you. Now, I don't like the way the entire team, with the exception of two tank destroyers and a heavy, is piled down straight towards the cap. That's usually a recipe for disaster, because there's just not enough cover there for the entire team. The enemy team can all park on the street corners and just kill you one by one. Now what you're seeing here is something that I see a lot when I'm driving the light tank. Particularly the T-50-2 because that 57mm gun doesn't do a lot of damage. It does less than 100 damage when it hits. Because you start putting shots into somebody and they think, well I've got targets to my front and there's this little annoyance in my side and they forget about you and five seconds later you've done 500 damage to it. You know, it, it adds up. Now watch this. Watch this Panzer IV. See that shot? Straight through his lower glacis. Boom, engine on fire. Yes, really. I guess he's pointing his gun at you. Be somewhere else. And he's, you know, he's not stupid. He's checking out what's going on on the other side of the road. Make sure he doesn't need to duck in the cover here. And he's got support. But you just know that if these guys have a choice of targets to shoot at, One's an IS, and one's a T-50-2. They're going to shoot at the T-50-2. Oh, oh, that was lucky. Stuck around waiting to get the killing blow. The IS fired and missed. Now what's this? Oh, and he set another tank on fire. <laughs> yeah, he outstayed his welcome in front of that KV-1S's gun. But, you know, if you've taken the hit, there's no sense of running away. Just keep going. And he's put the fire out, and watch this. <laughs> he sets him on fire again. <laughs> Now you're just being cruel. Set on fire twice and not dead. <laughs> KV-1 coming around his side though. Careful, don't outstay. Oh, his gun's pointing the other way, fine, shoot him. Oh, that would have been the killing blow side of the turret, but yeah. KV-1 eventually made it round, finished him off. And um, yeah, we are losing. Just as I predicted. Teams that rush the cap at the start of this game always lose. It's one of the laws of the universe. T49 incoming. Oh, not just a T49. That is not a T49. We'll put some hurt in at the side of that tiger. But again, remember, if these guys have got a choice of targets to shoot at, one's a tier 7 heavy, and you're the other one, they will... Oh! Did he just Amarak a tiger? <laughs> Did you see that? That was a thousand damage. <laughs> oh, holy crap. That tiger must be cursing. Goddamn overpowered Russian tanks. <laughs> Alright, let's not get too confident here. Okay, T-43 killed by Tiger P, who's in very, very poor shape. Whoa, watch out, Panzer. Yeah, you can afford to take a hit, because even if you... No, you didn't even take a hit. Now, now how screwed is this guy? And he knows it. So, yeah, well played there. But we ain't dead yet. Four kills, we are capping. And suddenly we're winning. <laughs> And there's the last enemy tank, an M6. Oh, what a spoil sport. Avenge me, teammates. Don't lose now, whatever you do.
KV-1 versus M6. Oh, and the IS is coming around behind him. And there's a T-43 right at the back there. Boom. Yep, that's what ISs do. <laughs> well, that was a great game. Yeah, Maverick 92 in his T-50-2 playing a cracking little game. Uh, tier 7 match on Ruinberg. Really well done. Very entertaining. Well, it wouldn't be a Jingles light tank roundup unless we had some LOL tractor action. So here's Philebus in his tier 1 Licht tractor. The LOL tractor of doom. He will respect his authority. Unsurprisingly, it's Malinovka. Very limited selection of maps available to tier 1 tanks. You've pretty much got, what, this, Muravanka, uh, Prokhorovka, Province, um, maybe one or two others, Himmelsdorf, and that's pretty much about it. And as you can see, Philebus has pimped his LOL tractor. He's got binoculars and a camo net. And at a rough guess, I'd say he's probably run, probably running vents as well. So, lol tractor of doom, all pimped out. Let the carnage commence. So, how many kills do you think he's going to get? I mean, the team have lost two already. Looked like it hit. No, it did. And another one. Penetrated. No damage. Come on, die, will you? Yeah, not today. Okay, we're going to need to get closer. Even with. Oh, hello. Somebody else has moved up. Oh, there's an MS1. I'm trying to see how quickly he can get himself. Look at that. Parking sideways on. Why is he not dead yet? MS-1 over there. Why, why are they dying and the MS-1 isn't? <laughs> what the hell is going on? There's an MS-1 right, sitting over there in the middle of the field on Malinov. Turned sideways on to all those enemy tanks. And he's killing them. <laughs> rather than the other way around. <laughs> Oh, I love Tier 1 games. They are so much fun. Oh, right, yep. Yeah, MS1 finally, you know, succumbed to logic and reason and died. Looks like someone in the enemy team knows where to point their gun. So, come on, Philebus. You've only got one kill. You're in a lol tractor of doom. You've got to do better than this. There's plenty of lol, but there's not much doom so far. Come on, step it up. You're losing 3-8. It's just not good enough. Okay, oh, there's that T1 that we couldn't quite finish off earlier. We're going to have him now. Oh, yeah. Oh, and another one. And he's on fire. Can we can we ninja the kill? He's put the fire out. There we go. <laughs> Three kills. Still losing. Five nine. Look at look at the carnage. Look at all those dead tanks sitting in the middle of the field. Is it any wonder we're losing? They have killed them before. Not looking too bad now, is it? We're going to have to take advantage of this quick because the MS1 that was spotting all those guys has just died. And they're about to start disappearing. So even with binos, you're going to need to get a bit closer than this. There's a T1 going ahead. Yeah, 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 carry on. Yeah, go ahead, team. No problem. You go and spot these guys for me. Yeah, don't worry, I'll back you up. 
Ooh, what's that? It's a lol tractor. There's only space for one lol tractor in this battlefield, kid, and you ain't it, see? Oh, where's he gone? Oh, we'll kill this T1 instead. It's only what, though. There's an MS1 on the other side, got four kills. On the bright side, nobody's shooting back at us. How close do we have to get before these binos actually start working? Lol tractor with an auto cannon. Dead lol tractor. Okay, and that. I think that guy is the MS1 with all the kills. We'll soon find out. Here it is Clash of the Titans. That wasn't him. Eight kills. <laughs> and the other teams are going, how can we possibly be losing? <laughs> Weren't we like five kills ahead a minute ago? Yeah, you were. Uh, right, now we're being capped. Well, there are two tanks like down by the through. base, but I wouldn't trust them. You know, you're a tier one game, never rely on your team to do something that you could do yourself. But we're just too far away. Ah! Cap reset. And uh, limited radio range, really, we don't really know what's going on over there. It could be that somebody on the team hit one of them and reset the cap, but it might not. Either way, we're now capping, and they're not. It, it could be that they were so dumb they saw enemy tanks coming to reset and they all charged out the cap circle. Stranger things have happened in Tier 1 games. Unfortunately, with the limited radio ranges that you have on these crappy little tanks, it, it, you really just can't tell. And the only one left on their team is the guy with four kills. And he's probably over there somewhere. But, screw it. Yeah, th these things just aren't fast enough. May as well stay here and cap. And there's Philebus with 10 kills and a whole bunch of invader points <laughs> in his lol tractor of doom. Good game. So how about a chaffy game? Shall we have a chaff? Yeah, let's have a chaffy game. Chaffies are always popular. These things and ELCs were easily the most popular uh, of all the tank replays that got submitted in the light tank category. Um, there were a couple of unusual ones. Uh, the, I've got an M3 Stuart replay where he gets a steel wall. <laughs> that one was amusing. A couple of 12T games, uh, but it was mostly, for the large part, Chaffees and ELCs. And here's Spoink, 1337, driving his M24 Chaffee in an encounter battle on Muravanka. Just utterly humiliating an M4 Sherman. So, good start. Took a bit of track damage there. And yeah, he used a repair kit. I probably would have in those circumstances as well. Because look at all those. I mean, you were at the end of an open road. <laughs> And there's an awful lot of big tanks down there, so yeah, I would probably use that repair kit too. Rather than hang around and wait to see what happened first. The crew repair the tracks, while that KV-1S finishes aiming. So, come on, Spoink. Come on, <laughs> look at that. And that's that, right there. That is what's so great about the Chaffin. The accuracy of that gun. On the move, and whoa, the, ooh, that was a big hit. That was an IS. Hmm, okay, that's not good. He's knocked out a radio. And a lot of people really don't care if the radio gets knocked out. But, yeah, it depends what you're doing with the tank, but light tanks, scouts, need a good radio. Because it's no good spotting all of these targets. 
if you don't have the radio range to let everybody on your team see them on the map. But Muravanka's not that big a map in the first place. And Spoink isn't really... Well, he's certainly not bush spotting, and he's not active scouting anymore either. He's, you know, he's done the dangerous bit, and now the tanks of both sides are all engaged. And he's just doing what Chaffee's do. Pounding the snot out of this T20. Got to be real careful, though. Don't want to hit that KV-1S. Right right Although somebody else appears to be doing a good job of that. Well, there we go. Kill number three. T20. And there's that IS that hit us earlier. Can we get some revenge here? That would be quite poetic, wouldn't it? Yeah, come on, pal. You're not so big without all your friends, are you? Says the Chaffee, hiding behind three friendly heavy tanks. Yeah, just, just never mind what I do. Just you know, it's what I say. Let's give that Yag Panther a hand. Oh, he's probably not going to survive this. Not if that Tiger P doesn't come to his rescue. Oh, where well, yeah, too too little, too late. He's gone. But now he's turning around to face the Tiger P, and now Tiger P's in the way. And now he's not, so we can carry on shooting. It's a big hit into that Tiger P, and if he'll just stay still, we can kill him. Oh, come on, 56 health. Have him, have him. Oh, that was so our kill. Dirty kill-stealing tiger bastard. So, next. Mm, we are actually winning. Well, we're winning, but we've got one tank in the cap. It's a T-29, and there's three heavies and a tank destroyer that we know of coming up to sort him out um, and we can't afford to take another hit not with 114 health so while it, while it looks like we're abandoning that T29 to his fate we are actually abandoning that T29 to his fate but the best thing Spoink can do in this situation is to just spot them give what supporting fire he can but he needs to be in much much better cover than sitting on top of that hill and support is coming over I mean the T29's down but he's held them off long enough and support is coming and now we've got you see you see this is what I'm talking about this is smart all of these guys are facing basically in the direction where the IS is coming over because that's where the counter-attack is coming from and Spoink is sitting up here and he's got perfect flank shots into all of them as they turn to face the threat as they come over the hill couldn't ask for a better spot oh hello that AMXM4 knows where he is doesn't have a shot though the Tiger P's turning around come on guys don't make me kill them all for you Tiger the piece trying to take cover behind the wreck of that T-150 and <laughs> AC MLE finishes him off and whichever way you look at it you know it, they're either <laughs> you know they're either defending themselves from the guys coming over the hill in which case we're shooting the shit out of them from the side or they're all turning their guns towards this tiny little chaffy in which case, the guys coming over the hill are having a field day on them, and that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. And now there's only one of them left, um, but we've got a medium tank. Yeah, an ISU down there. Oh, no, not an ISU, an SU-152. He's got a medium tank jammed up his arse, judging by what I can see going on on the map. Yep, Panzer four. Kills an SU-152. Oh, the humiliation. <laughs> so, yeah, great game. Spoink, well played. Um, excellent use of the capabilities of the Chaffee. Uh, very, very well done. I have to admit, when I saw you abandoning that T-29 to its fate, I had my doubts, but it was absolutely the right thing to do. And, um, you know, fair play to the T-29 driver who held those guys off as long as he possibly could. So, M24 Chaffee, driven by Spoink1337. Um, Spoink submitted quite a few replays. This is not the last you're going to see of him. Um, 
so there, there you go. M24 Chaffee in a victory with four kills in a tier 7 game on Muravanka. Well, 276 of your emails done, 200 to go. So, depending entirely on how many replays are, are contained in each of those emails, I am hoping to be in a position to start announcing the winners to the contest within a week. Um, so, I'm you know, wasting time sitting here talking to you about it. I need to get back into my uh, Gmail folder and start looking at more replays. So I'll crack on with that. In the meantime, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, take care on the battlefield, and I'll catch you next time.